Since the late 20th century, internet communication has been secured by strong encryption that helps everyone communicate security. Soon, however, every encrypted message on the internet will be cracked open. This includes messages between friends, nations, militaries, and even criminals. Part of the tech race between United States and China is to decrypt all current encrypted data with new quantum computing processor technology. So let's explore the question, how much longer will encryption hold up against new technology? Now, before we dive into geopolitics, let's quickly revisit what encryption is. Encryption is a mathematical method of converting information into a code to prevent unauthorized access. When you send a message via WhatsApp or Signal, encryption ensures that no one except the intended recipient can read it. However, with rapidly advancing investments in quantum computing, the sturdy walls of encryption that protect our data today might crumble tomorrow. Quantum computers operate on principles of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that deals with the bizarre behaviors of nature on a tiny scale of atoms and subatomic particles. Unlike classical computers, quantum computers can process vast amounts of information simultaneously, making them incredibly powerful for certain tasks, including breaking encryption. The power of quantum computing originates from the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics, which are quite distinct from the classical mechanics that govern traditional computers. Here's a breakdown. Current computing uses bits of information, while quantum computers use qubits as the fundamental counting scheme. Each bit is a binary value, either a zero or a one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use quantum bits or qubits. A qubit can exist in a state of zero, one, or both zero and one simultaneously thanks to a principle known as superposition. The power of superposition means that with each additional qubit, a quantum computer's processing capacity doubles exponentially. For example, two bits can be in one of four possible states, 0, 0, 0, 1, 10, and 11. In contrast, two qubits can exist in all four of these states at once. This exponential scaling continues as more qubits are added. So the more qubits a quantum computer has, the exponentially more complex calculations it can handle compared to a classical computer with the same number of bits. Quantum entanglement is another principle that sets quantum computing apart. Entangled qubits are connected in such a way that the state of one instantaneously influences the state of the others, no matter how far apart they are. This feature allows quantum computers to solve complex problems much more quickly than classical computers by processing many inputs and outputs simultaneously. Thanks to uh, superposition and entanglement, quantum computers can perform many calculations simultaneously, creating a form of parallelism that classical computers cannot match. This ability to handle and solve multiple problems simultaneously makes quantum computing exponentially faster and more powerful for certain types of calculations. Quantum computers are expected to solve problems that are currently beyond the reach of the most powerful binary computers. They have the potential to revolutionize fields such as cryptography, material science, and complex simulations. Quantum algorithms designed to leverage the principles of quantum mechanics can solve certain types of problems exponentially faster than the best known algorithms running on a classical computer. A sufficiently advanced quantum computer could crack encryption algorithms that are currently considered secure, making the current encryption algorithms instantly obsolete. RSA and ECC, in the backbones of modern encryption, could potentially be decrypted by quantum computers, exposing vast amounts of sensitive data. Given the strides being made in quantum computing, it's not a stretch to say that the encryption methods safeguarding our privacy are on borrowed time. Once the quantum genie is out of the bottle, the very fabric of internet privacy could unravel. And when that happens, the enormous vaults of encrypted data, which are being stored by nations and corporations, could be decrypted, revealing secrets that could reshape the global landscape. The once secure communications between individuals, corporations, and even governments could be laid bare for those with quantum capabilities. The USA and China, two tech behemoths, are in a race not just for technological supremacy, but also for world dominance. 
The first nation to master quantum computing will drastically change the balance of power in regard to national security, the economy, and global influence. If the United States were to win the quantum computing arms race, the USA would solidify its position as a leader in cutting-edge technology. This can lead to attracting more investments, talent, and partnerships globally, which can further advance the U.S. standing in global tech innovation. Quantum computing would significantly boost the economy by driving innovations across various sectors, including finance, healthcare, energy, and transportation. Most certainly, it will catalyze the development of new industries, products, and services, creating jobs and economic growth. With quantum computing, the USA would have an advantage in cybersecurity. It could potentially decrypt communications of adversaries while securing its own data with quantum-resistant encryption. Enhanced decryption capabilities could significantly boost intelligence gathering and surveillance, offering a substantial advantage in geopolitical strategies and counterterrorism efforts. Quantum computing superiority could be leveraged in international diplomacy and trade negotiations. It could influence global standards on cybersecurity and data protection. The advanced computational power of quantum computers will accelerate research and development in various fields, potentially leading to breakthroughs in medicine, uh, materials, science, AI, and more. Other nations might raise concerns over espionage and data security international relations could be strained, especially if the USA is perceived to use its quantum capabilities irresponsibly. The power to break through existing encryption standards could lead to domestic and international debates and concerns over privacy and data protection. A successful development of a quantum computer by the USA would probably trigger a global race for quantum supremacy, pushing other nations to accelerate their efforts in quantum computing. Alliances might shift as nations align with the USA for access to quantum technology or, alternatively, band together to counterbalance the United States' newfound technological advantage. The advent of quantum computing orchestrated by any nation, especially a powerhouse like the USA, is bound to reset global economic, political, and technological landscapes, instigating responses both domestically and internationally. There's an interesting paradox here. While we race towards technological advancements, we're simultaneously hurtling towards a potential era of unprecedented exposure. The investments into securing stronger encryption techniques are clashing with the efforts to develop decryption technologies. But not all hope is lost. The tech world is already buzzing with the ideas of quantum-resistant algorithms. These are cryptographic methods designed to remain secure against the immense computational power of quantum computers. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, the arms race between encryption and decryption continues to escalate. It's a classic case of cat and mouse, where the stakes are nothing less than the privacy of individuals and the security of nations. Some of the leaders of quantum computing research include IBM, Google, and Microsoft. MIT, Harvard, Yale University, and the University of California schools continue to publish results from quantum studies. China has been investing heavily in quantum computing. In 2020, a, a team of Chinese researchers claimed to have achieved quantum supremacy with a new type of quantum computer called Zhuzhang. Los Alamos National Laboratory and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory have quantum study programs. Of course, the NSA must be intensely interested in quantum computing, but they are extremely unlikely to ever reveal what their capabilities are. Perhaps the NSA already has a working quantum computer and has yet to announce it. In a rapidly changing world, the only constant seems to be the continuous battle for privacy and security. The unfolding tech race between superpowers is a reminder that the sanctity of our data is at the mercy of technological advancements and geopolitical tussles. Will the promise of quantum-resistant algorithms uphold the veil of privacy, or will the dawn of quantum computing begin an era where secrets are a relic of the past? We will soon find out. If you want to learn how to develop web and mobile software using today's popular technology, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. My name is Shad Sluter and I teach software development and computer science at Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. 
Please join me in class by subscribing. See you soon, and thanks for liking this video.